this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is D Channel Guns coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Appreciate all the good information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support, love over here. And appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2A community. So with that said, we're gonna talk about the fake gun study. Um, you know, uh, groups and stuff out here that is pretty much blanking it. Funded by Bloomberg, but they're blanking it social media and all your headlines and stuff with these study groups about when it comes to gun violence and stuff and gun death and, and injuries and stuff with farms. Now, I run across this article. You're going to see it up here. And, you know, I ran across an article that handgun license pretty much uh, reduce death and stuff like that. But they also said it reduced uh, pretty much gun violence and injuries and all this kind of stuff. So your basic comprehensive uh, background check don't work, people. Uh, to my, they mostly abbreviated sometimes CBC, comprehensive background check. So you'll see that sometimes. So basically what they're saying is the basic background check don't work, people. They're saying that with their study, states that do the basic background check um, have high gun crime, you know, gun violence and stuff like that, gun death, gun injuries and everything. So they're saying that, you know, that is that is the old standard way. And, you know, what they're saying is that uh, states need to enact uh, what they call handgun licenses. Now, there are states that do handgun licenses and stuff like that. So the difference between handgun licenses and I mean, yeah, handgun license and, and um, basic background check is that the handgun license also do a background check. But they saying the background check will basically it's just to identify somebody, make sure you know the dinner, you know, make sure you who you say you are, and make sure you're not a prohibited person from owning the farm. Now, after that, they're saying when it comes to handgun license that you're required, you do fingerprints, you know, probably do some evaluations and stuff like that, and also you got to take a course, you got to take a farm course and everything that you're certified and everything to have a handgun. And so, with the basic background check, they're saying that. You know, with the, you know, this comprehensive background check, which is the standard background check, it doesn't work. That's the reason why you see high gun violence and crime and stuff like that. So this is the stuff that they're putting out there, people. This is the stuff that they're putting out there. And so basically what they're trying to do is run you through more hoops to pretty much bar you from getting a gun. That's all it is, people. They're creating all these little loopholes and stuff for you to get a farm. And they're making it difficult. And you know, some of this stuff that I looked at, it costs you your money, people. It costs you more money, a lot of delays and stuff like that. So that's the reason why they prefer the handgun license because it has more loopholes and stuff in it for them to pretty much bar you from getting a gun. You know, you have mental evaluations and stuff. You got to go see someone, you know, to ask you all these questions and stuff. And then you got to take this course, this class, fingerprint. I'm talking about they're just taking you through a whole lot of loops. And right now, during the situation that we in, imagine have to do all that before you can get your handgun when you're trying to defend yourself and your family. See, all this is delay. This is this putting your life at, at stake, your family at stake. And you know, with those that do have to wait for background checks to come back, I'm talking about, you know, you have, you know, the gun shops will have, you know, firearm shortages and stuff like that. You know, waiting on your gun to come in. And, you know, with all this kind of stuff that you have to deal with and then they have to go through several little loop, a bunch of loops that's to get you a gun, people. See, them are the tactics that they're using to pretty much to bar the citizens from getting guns and stuff. And so you see some of these groups and stuff out here. Bloomberg is blanking it, the airways right now. He's blanking in the media, social media with ads, everything. And, you know, these are the groups and, and a lot of these groups that study the, the gun violence and stuff like that. It's backed by him. They are paid by him. These are his schools. You know, he pretty much fund these schools and everything. So of course they're gonna, uh, you know, make it, you know, you know, lean Bloomberg's way. You know, because Bloomberg goal is, you know, to take your farms anywhere and everything. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit because be be aware of some of the articles and stuff, especially these study groups and stuff like that, because they're funded by the people who are trying to take your guns, people. So. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.